Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to create your profile at onlinejobs.ph. This is the website www.onlinejobs.ph and this is the same website that I've used in finding my clients. To start, let's click Want a Job button. Then click I Want to Work button. In this page, you need to put in your full name, email address, password and make sure do not forget your password and then tick the checkbox I am a Filipino then the checkbox I do not have an account remember you cannot have multiple accounts on online jobs because that is illegal and then just hit the register button and that is how you register an email verification will be sent to the email address you registered so make sure you verify it now, let's begin the fun part of creating your profile. Now, we need to think of an interesting but also professional job title. For an example, I choose all-around and multi-talented virtual assistant. That means that I have lots of skills that I can offer to my client. You can think of other words like superstar, rockstar, passionate, or other interesting words that will perfectly describe your character and your skills. For the summary of your skills, you need to showcase the skills and the work experience you have so that the client will know about your background. In this example, you will see that I enumerated the skills or knowledge that I have about Shopify, eBay, email marketing, and Amazon selling. And I indicated that I am very passionate and I added information about myself that I am a computer engineering graduate and a little bit of work experience that I have. I indicated the number of years, six years work experience as technical and customer support. Some of you may be thinking that, well, that is a good and promising summary of skills, but I do not have those skills. So, what am I going to put in there? Well, you can always study the skills. There are free trainings that I send out to my subscribers. So, if you want to be subscribed, just click the sign up button on my Facebook page. Those training and tutorials that I sent you are very helpful so that you can have something to put into your profile. But I just want to say that watching and learning are far different from each other. Yes, you've watched the tutorials, but did you really learn it? So I suggest that you create profiles on either Amazon or eBay or whatever you are studying and make sure that you navigate on platforms so that you will really understand how it works. Now let's talk about your desired salary. I strongly suggest that if you do not have experience yet, do not charge too much. I would say 15,000 to 20,000 is good, but if you can lower it down to 10,000 to 15,000 then that's better because most clients will choose the affordable employee. But I also wanted to tell you that there are some clients who think that if you charge very low, then you do not have that professional skills. So, it's really a matter of judgment. If you believe that your skills are really good enough to charge, you know, higher, then go for it. But if you believe that, you know, you are still on a training level and you are not an expert yet, then please do not charge too much because the client might have a bad impression that you are charging too much but you do not have the professional skills. So, just be careful in that. Then let's provide more information. Highest education attainment. I will put here bachelor's degree. And then for experience, you should put in here the, the work experience that you are most proud of. And you should indicate the number of years. They should also be related to the job that you wanted to apply for. So here, I will put in here six years. And since I'm six years from the call center, I'll put here six years technical support. For employment status, just leave it as unemployed if you do not have any work and then choose 40 hours and above for the number of hours you want to work in a week. 
because you want to work on a full-time basis but if you want to work as a part-timer then choose lower than that now you will also need to add more information date of birth phone number your home address and your website now I want to add here that a website doesn't necessarily to have you know a full pledge website it can only be a blog that shows information about yourself like if you are a graphic designer it shows the graphic designs that you have or if you are a writer then you will have the samples of your writing then add your gender and tick the checkbox yes I'm willing to use time proof time proof it's a time tracking used by online jobs many clients do not use this but just tick this uh, checkbox so that if there is a client who wants to work with you and who wants to use time proof then you're good then just click the done button and you're ready for the next step which is your skills so here there are lots of skills that you can rate now you need to be honest in rating your skills okay you can choose a perfect rating if you are confident on that specific skill. Alright, and then on the left hand side, you will see the categories. So, just make sure that you rate as many skills as possible and be honest. But do not underestimate yourself as well. There is only a limited number of uh, perfect skills that you can rate. I believe you only have five perfect skills and then 10 for number 4 rating and then the rest of them you can rate it as 1, 2, or 3. There is also a box here wherein you can put more information about specific skill. For example, for advertising, you were able to do uh, Google AdWords for that uh, specific uh, job. So put in the number of years you worked with Google AdWords, what were the tools that you have used, so that the client will know more about it. Now, once you're done rating your skills, just click I'm done with ratings. You can go ahead and search for the online jobs that you want. Then click apply for jobs for which you're qualified. And these are the categories of job posts that you can check. As you can see, there are lots of categories for home-based jobs. You have their office and admin, VA, advertising, etc. So just choose the job that you want to have. And uh, let's take an example, office and admin, VA. Let's open that one. As you can see, these are the lists of work-at-home jobs that you can get. So let's take one here, for example. Okay, here you will see your ID proof is lower than required to apply to this job. So this job requires an ID proof of 60. If you just created your account, the ID proof of your account is zero. So there are lots of ways to increase your ID proof and please do not panic. This is very easy to fix. Let's click my account. For newly created account, there will be reminders here saying that you should not provide your credit card information and other reminders because there are lots of spammers or scammers here in onlinejobs.ph as well. But you can definitely get a legitimate job here just like I did. So just be careful. So let's just click, okay, got it. And here, these are the steps on how you can increase your chances of getting hired. I see many people saying that uh, it's really hard to get a home-based job. Well, that is true, but you should always give your best when creating your profile. Take proficiency tests, add profile picture, of course, uh, you know, a professional looking profile picture. I just want to say that ID proof does not indicate if you are professional or not, okay? Many people think that they have a low ID proof because they do not have experience yet. Well, that is not true, okay? You can increase your ID proof 
by adding more information to your profile like connecting your Facebook account, as I said, taking proficiency tests, uploading your government IDs. If you have done those things, I'm sure that the ID proof will increase. Thus, it will increase your chances of getting hired.